this book is a good complement to uh, the Strawberry Snatcher because the Strawberry Snatcher is definitely how not to do something. So it's a fun book. I love it. And it's a lot of sneaking and, well, snatching, even though the Snatcher doesn't get to actually snatch anything. But you can see on the gray lady's face that she does not feel happy about the snatching situation. And if that Strawberry Snatcher had snatched all of that, all the strawberries, it meant that how many people wouldn't get strawberries? Let me just count. Let's just count how many people wouldn't get strawberries. Let's, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because of the parrot, would not get strawberries. The only person that would get the strawberries is the snatcher. And that doesn't seem right because the snatcher didn't even buy the strawberries or go to the store to get them or didn't clean them and didn't take the, the stems out for everyone and wash them, just snatch them up. She just snatched them up, he or her, him, her, them. We don't know what the strawberry snatcher is. But this book, How To, is the opposite kind of because it tells you how to do something and it's by Julie Morstad and it says How To. And it's how to do so many things, and all of them will bring people to you. So snatching brings people to you, but it brings them to you in a rough way. This one brings people to you in a way that builds and connects. So on the front jacket, it says, or the picture is a child drawing on the sidewalk. On the back are two children flying kites. But then when you take the dust jacket off, it is a child standing at the top of the, I mean, sitting at the top of the slide. And that is a really long slide. That looks like the slide down at Sligo Creek Park where we have the forest pickup. And then there's a child quiet inside of a tree. So many different pictures that you'll find inside the book. So lovely colors to start the book. And... Then there's lovely pictures of reading books because that is one of the how-tos to bring people to you is to read books together or by yourselves. And it's for H, I, and J. So do you think that this is a person whose name starts with H, I, and J? How To by Julie Morstad. How to go fast. Now these people have all agreed that they would go somewhere fast. And they're going in so many different ways. So I want to show you something. This person here can't go fast on her own feet, so she has help. This person has a scooter to go fast. This person's running as fast as they can on their feet. The wings help them go. Stilts help them go. And this person gets a head start because she's little. And this person's flying as fast as she can. How to go slow. This person's crawling so slowly on the ground that she's attracting butterflies. The butterflies are coming to her. And here's a snail that is also going slow. That's how to build connections. Now here's the kite picture. So it says, how to see the wind. So these children with balloons and kites are showing her where the wind is. She's enjoying, or he is enjoying that wind blowing. And all of these children say, yes, let me show you. And we're coming together. How to feel the breeze. So this child says, you know what? I'd like to feel the breeze just like those kites, so I have an idea. How to be a mermaid. This person's bringing together her imagination with taking a bath, or his imagination taking a bath. How to have a good sleep. Oh, yeah. That is a nice bed. How to come together with your imagination and a fairy tale. How to make some music. I have an idea of how to make some music. I have an idea of how to make a sandwich. How 
how to make new friends. Now, you could look at this in two different ways. So one, that child is drawing friends. But most likely, that child's drawing things that will then create interest and then other children will come to play with that child to draw people too. So maybe this person drew this one, but then other people came and said, oh, I like that idea so much, I want to draw with you. So instead of this child snatching something and running away, this child decided to make a world with chalk on the sidewalk or in a driveway. How to wash your face. That's a way you can play with other people by taking the umbrella down and feeling the rain on your face. How to wash your socks. That's an idea that'll work. And a lot of people like the idea of splashing in puddles. And we know that these children have all agreed that they would get wet before they got into that puddle. So they had an agreement before it happened that they would get wet. How to stay close. These two children braided their hair together and they're gonna be really close. It's gonna hard, be hard to walk away, but that's a game. How to disappear. You can't see that person at all. That's hide and seek that you could play with someone. How to be far away and also close because you can teach someone how to climb a tree and you can climb a tree too. Or you could stay at the bottom and say, let me make a leaf crown, give me leaves for a leaf crown. How to wonder, hmm, quiet moment to think of the big things, like the planets and the earth and the sun and the moon. How to be brave, this person really has to be brave. But they could also decide not to go and that's, that's coming together. How to be dot, dot, dot. That's what it says. How to be dot, dot, dot. All the things you can be. And none of those children are snatching. They're playing alone. They're playing together with just two people and playing together with a lot of people. Playing alone playing together, how to be happy. The end.